Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Code Ray, and if you're new, I'm Code Ray, and on this channel, I help you to navigate and succeed in your tech career. So for today's video, I want to talk about my experience preparing for the Google Software Engineering Interview. Make sure to subscribe because in the future, I'll be posting a video on how the Google Software Engineering Interview went for me. Firstly, just some things to keep in mind is that Google actually has different interviews for a lot of people, so my experience with preparing for this interview may be different from someone else's. Okay, to start from the beginning, I highly recommend preparing early for the software engineering interview. And so essentially, if you're looking for a job for next summer, or if you're looking for an internship for next summer, I highly recommend starting to prepare data structures and algorithms and for the actual interviews the year before, so the summer before. And I know that the summer before, a lot of the applications have not opened up yet, but I highly recommend preparing for the interviews before the application actually open. And this is super crucial because when the application's open, there's gonna be a lot of people just like applying and you don't know when your recruiter will get back to you. So a lot of times you might not have enough time to prepare or you have other things going on like schoolwork or part-time jobs. So I highly recommend starting to prepare early and then once those applications come out, you'll be able to apply as fast as you can and also basically interview as fast as you can. So the reason why I highly suggest applying early is because for a lot of people, if you apply later, it's a lot harder to get an interview and also an internship. So I know I have a few friends who essentially basically pass all their interviews for a specific company, but then later on, they weren't able to get a spot for that internship or for that job because they had already filled up. And so essentially basically telling you guys to not procrastinate and that it's always good to start early and it never hurts. So another thing is that once you finish your interviews early on, you basically have more free time later on. So in my process, essentially what I did was I started preparing for the August before the uh, internship that I was going for. And then essentially the applications open up in September to October. So then I was able to prepare beforehand. And then once I applied in September, October, I got an interview later on and the whole process took about one to two months. So it's actually a pretty long time. So just make sure that you get everything done earlier. So in my experience, I actually got Google through this hiring challenge called the Food Bar Challenge. And I'll basically be posting another video on that soon. Essentially, after passing the Food Bar Challenge, I was able to basically get into the pipeline for interviewing for Google. Although I did already prepare, I was also extremely nervous because Google had been one of my dream companies. And I just wanted to make sure to hit all balance so that I knew everything before my interview. So this is how I prepared. To start off, my recruiter and I scheduled an interview for about two to three weeks in advance. So I took those two to three weeks to specifically prepare for the Google interview. And beforehand, I had already prepared. So what I did was I started off by knowing a programming language really well and choosing a programming language to do for the programming interview. So essentially, a lot of you guys have been asking like, what language should I do? I highly suggest doing the technical programming interview in Java or Python. So I actually started off uh, learning C++ because that's what the courses in my school had given. So the algorithm data structures course were in C++ in my school. And so essentially, I basically started doing C++ and I thought that C++ would be the language that I would be doing for the interview, but I highly don't suggest doing C++ because it's very hard. Um, essentially, C++ in itself is a really good language, but for the technical programming interview, you have about 40 minutes to do the problem. C++ has a lot of syntax and a lot of things that you need to remember and not code wrong. And a lot of times the IDEs that the interviewer uses for the programming interview don't have autocomplete. So essentially you have to memorize the exact syntax of C++. And that's why I think C++ is too tedious to write and also too much to remember for the programming interview. So I highly suggest, even if you learn C++, it would be really helpful to learn something like Python or Java they are languages that don't take too long to learn. I'm pretty sure Python take is the fastest. So that's why I actually did Python. So basically it took one to two weeks to learn Python and basically like just how the syntax works, how to create data structures and algorithms because that's mostly what you would be doing. And then I started preparing for the um, Google and the other software engineering interviews. And I started by basically using Python to break down each of the data structures and write each of the methods. So essentially what I would do is I would break down each of the methods in a hash map or a hash table or in a priority queue. And I think this really helped me because it gave me a lot more confidence for you know just like going at using these data structures for programming interviews and for these problem solving techniques. So specifically for the Google interview, I actually knew that it would be a lot harder than all the other interviews that I've done because Google tends to ask very tricky questions and a lot of times their questions 
are just not specifically programming language questions. They might also be like other technical problems or mind boggling problems. So I tried to basically cover as much boundary as I could. Um, one of the first things that I did was because it was a software engineering internship interview, I basically went on to LeetCode and LeetCode is just an amazing site. I can't recommend it enough. If you have a software engineering interview, make sure to get LeetCode Premium. So essentially what LeetCode is, it's this huge like database or like place where you can solve problems and you can solve the types of problems that a lot of software engineering companies Companies ask on their interview. So a lot of these problems really help you prepare for the software engineering interview. So when I started off, it was really hard for me uh, to get through a lot of these questions, but over time I was started to go through more and more of those questions. Specifically for Google, I did get Leco Premium and I went through the Google section and I did about 50 of those questions. There's a ton of those questions so you won't be able to get through them in time, but I did about 50 of them and I felt more comfortable with answering more of the problems. What I did was I would just go three to four hours for like a medium problem and just maybe one to two hours for an easy problem or even shorter if I can solve it a lot faster in the beginning. So a lot of times you might not be able to actually solve the problem. So I would suggest looking at the discussion page for the problem or also the solutions just to make sure you have a good grasp of how other people are approaching the problems so you can change your mindset as well. Furthermore, in order to prepare, one of the things that I highly recommend for like all programmers is that you should basically do a lot of these legal questions and talk them out loud. So basically thinking out loud is a really important step for software engineering interviews, but a lot of people can't do that because it's extremely hard to think out loud because a lot of people you know you think in your head and you just type it out but what they want to see is they want to see your thought process on a lot of these questions so I actually in the beginning had a really hard time just basically talking out like each step that I did because I was too busy thinking about what to do and so what I did was I started doing mock interviews with my friends and so I would do three to four mock interviews per weekend with some of my friends um, for those two to three weeks that I had and I would do specifically like Google questions and basically they would ask me a question and I would basically solve the question and talk out loud my whole thinking step. So just basically what to do in the beginning, what to do in the middle, what to do in the end, and basically talk really with your interviewer just on like if you get stuck in a part or if you're what you're thinking about in that specific part. Because it's rare, but sometimes an interviewer can pass you because they know that you have the problem solving ability, but you might not have enough time to actually solve the problem. But they do know that you actually thought about it and you have critical thinking skills. So essentially what I did was, after just doing a lot of mock interviews with friends, I was able to basically talk out loud better to myself and also be more comfortable with telling other people how I thought when putting down a question or when thinking about how to do a solution. One of the things that also helped me was talking in front of the mirror or just talking by myself when I'm doing lead code in my room. So if you guys don't have people to do mock interviews with, I highly recommend something called Pramp. So Pramp is something in which you can do virtual mock interviews with other people who are also looking for software engineering jobs and are in through the interview process. You can give mock interviews to each other, which would really help you also understand the mindset of the interviewer and also how to go about it. These are all things that really help me to become more confident and comfortable with the software engineering interview for Google because being comfortable is extremely important because a lot of times when you're nervous going in interview, you sometimes make mistakes, a lot more mistakes than you had in the past, or you basically get a question wrong that you knew you could get right. I didn't want to take that risk. That's why I tried to become more comfortable and also confident. So another thing that Google could possibly ask was technical questions pertaining to a specific language. So for instance, since I was doing Python, they wouldn't ask me technical questions regarding other languages, but they might ask me something like, oh, like how does a Python garbage disposal work? Or what does ellipses do in Python? And so in order to prepare for this, I went online and looked up technical questions relating to the specific language that I was using, which was Python. But I also used two books that really helped me. So one was Cracking the Coding Interview, and two was Elements of Programming Interviews in Python, and they also have a Java version as well. These books really helped me to get a grasp on the specific technical details of these languages and how I would approach them when asked during an interview. Finally, in order to account for the behavioral section of Google, I made sure to do a lot of research about Google and what I wanted to do there just in case they would ask a question about that. So make sure to do a lot of research on the company that you're going into. And I also basically just prepared a few questions to ask my interviewer that I could possibly ask in the end if we have time. So sometimes during an interview, you might not have time to ask questions, and that's totally fine. But if you do have time to ask questions, make sure to ask questions. 
So at that time, I was actually still in school when I was applying and when I was preparing. So I basically took easier classes and I put those classes to the side as I basically put more of my focus into preparing for the software engineering interview. And then going at it, I was still super nervous. It's almost impossible to just get out that feeling of being nervous or anxious when you're doing the interview, but that's okay. A lot of these preparation skills allow you to become more confident and comfortable with doing them. So if you guys have any interviews coming up, I just wanted to say good luck. You got this. Make sure to prepare as much as you can. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment if you have any questions or comment how you prepared for the software engineering interview or any materials that you use that was really helpful to you. Make sure to like and comment, subscribe for more videos. I'll be definitely posting as much as I can in the future. Thank you so much for watching.